Maybe some of you are aware about how much money governments spend to support the way we use and consume energy. In fact, a study revealed uh, that approximately 122 billion euro are spent across the EU member states to support energy, most of which actually um, goes to support the production of electricity. One of the biggest spenders here is Germany. Germany spends approximately 35 billion euros per year. Now, some of that money, obviously, is going to support the use of energy that we would deem to be acceptable. For example, if we look at how much is spent nowadays to support renewables, we would think, well, that's a good thing because that supports the goals of climate change. So some 40, 50 billion is spent per year in supporting renewables. Um, however, uh, while that's a bit of good news, there's also a bit of bad news. One of the most effective ways of securing that we use less energy, that we pollute less, that we save the climate, if you like, is to encourage us all to use energy more efficiently. But if we look at government spend on energy efficiency, it's very low. It's only 9 million of a total of this 122 billion. Now, who pays this money? Where does the government actually get the money from? Well, the statistics reveal that 40 billion of this euro, 122 billion, is directly paid by us in the form of levies. So we are supporting um, a great deal of intervention in the energy sector. Now, is anybody keeping an eye on this huge, massive flow of subsidies to the energy sector? That is one of the issues I'd like to talk about today. And it's in this context that I'd like to explain to you the basics of the European state aid regime. Because we have a treaty and we have a lot of rules, we have case law, we have commission decisions that implement these rules. And at first sight, anybody reading those rules would probably think, ah, oh, subsidies are forbidden. So, this doesn't quite add up. How come that we have a treaty that applies to the 28 member states that forbids state aid, but at the same time, we see that this mass amount of money, this massive amount of money is being passed through to the energy sector. So that's the question I'd like to try to look at with you today. But obviously, I'm looking at the, the legal rules and how they are implemented, how they are applied. There are a lot of policy issues, wider economic issues, of course, that could be the subject of another talk.